after they went on that run early, we were able to establish what we wanted to do, get in transition, get in space, and, and get some easy hoops, and it kind of kick-started it, our offense. And, you know, there's one thing that's been constant all year. It's our defense. And like I said last game, if we only give up 40 points, I like our chances. I think that's how many we gave up tonight. So. Yeah. You guys have to pre slow start. What happened to kind of change that? Uh, you know, we're relatively young, you know, but the, the kids, you know, turned it around. They were able to t make it a quick turnaround and kind of settle themselves and settle their nerves and, and really do what we want to do. And, and, and I'm proud of them, man. I can't I can't put into words how proud of them I am. Yeah, and, you know, that's char taking charge of stepping in and having heart. And, you know, our guys are willing to do that today. And, and I think that was the difference in the game. Uh, you know, Doherty, another big game. It seems like no no one has an answer even when he gets to the team last final. He's a big time player, and when when the when the lights are bright, he comes to play every single time. You know, you can count on that, and uh, uh, he's a wonderful player. But I think this is more of a team victory because of our defense. You know, it takes five guys to defend, and the way we defended tonight was uh, our best defensive game in the year, and it had to be against a good, good Concord Carlisle team. Yeah. Did you talk about Doherty? He's a freshman. Steps up like that, you guys. Yeah, he, he's a freshman. We don't. Treat him like one because he doesn't play like one, you know. And and he's got like I told Carl in the year, he's got a lot of moxie. And, and when, when the lights are bright, he's he, he's right there in the middle of it. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to ask you about uh, the, the Capadonna's there. It seems, you know, Joe's Joe's coming back and he's getting better and better each game. And Yeah. Uh, obviously, Owen fa always factors in. You know, taking a month off and, and really not doing anything was tough for him. So when he came back, we kind of tried to implement him slowly and try to get his experience back up because playing this game, you gotta it comes from experience in in-game situations. So the more and more we got him into it, the more, it, more the better he started to play. And obviously, this was a culmination of the last three games with him really, really playing well tonight. And I don't even think he took a jump shot and he made an impact in the game. He really got got to his game, which is getting in space and transition and really getting to the rim, and he did that tonight. And, you know, he's a senior. He didn't want this to be his last game, and he played like it. I know a lot of the kids have talked about they want to, you know, bring the title back for the teams that have made it to the final before and stuff. They, ooh. Can you talk about that from your perspective? What you saw the desire out of them to bring it back for the school? Yeah, well, we knew going in that no one had ever done or accomplished or had the opportunity to accomplish what we had today, and the kids knew that coming in. And, um, you know, some kids at that age would be scared of it, and we cherished it and embraced it every single day, and we knew how big this opportunity was. And, and we came out, and, and we, man, we played like it. And uh, this one's not only for us and, and the individuals in that room, but it's for Marlboro High and the community of Marlboro because uh, ever since I was younger, Marlboro has been a big basketball town, and hopefully with this we can bring it back to where it used to be. Talk about 4-16 and 16 last year. Did you see with the kids, with the talent you had coming back, that they had the confidence to, to make a run, to make it back here, yeah. to make it here? And yeah, it. yeah. I mean, as a coach you think that, but, yeah. but the way we talk to our players is we try to tell them to focus on the process, not the prize. It's it's how we work and get up to it. And even tonight we talked about take, we got to win every possession because the little things add up to the you know the, the greater stuff. And, and I think that's the approach we took all year. Did we think we had a chance? I think we always... You know, we don't go into any game thinking we're going to lose, and, and especially during the year. Even with the 4-16 and, and 16 record, these kids are resilient. They're tough kids, and they were hungry this year, and they showed it. And, and I think that's where we are where we are right now. Tom Gibbons is here today. He's your coach. You've obviously known him a long time. Do you have any advice for him? He, he's more than my coach. He, coach Gibbons is one of my one of my better friends and, and one, of, one of my mentors that, you know, I coached under him for five years. And, I have played for him, and we won a district title here, and we got to the district semis when I coached with him a few years ago, so our bond goes beyond basketball. It's more than that. It's a great friendship, and uh, I'm lucky to have him in, you know, around me. Uh, when, when you came into the season, did you uh, did you think that Chris Dory would have this big of an impact on the team, or you know, how, how has that turned out? <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, I don't want to say yes, but... I mean, Chris is a special, special player. I mean, there's no doubt about that. Uh, I think he's a 15, 16-year-old kid. I've never seen anyone that aggressive in my life. With the way he moves and the, and the skills he has, I think um, at 6'6", 
being able to handle the ball and having great hands and getting your hands on everything and the athleticism that he has, uh, he changes the game dramatically for the other team, defensively, offensively. Um, and I think with him in the middle and the pieces we had around and, and the, the way the guys stepped up at the end of the season, like Owen Capadonna, Brian Short, Joe Capadonna today, Jose Delacruz, Joey Turpec, who has guarded the best player on the other team every single game for, for 22 games. And he did it tonight with Hoey. And, and those are the things that people don't recognize. Chris is a great talent, and more importantly, he's a great kid. And he, he loves being a part of our team. And um, like I said, it was a culmination of uh, ever, everyone's hard work, all 13 guys, all the coaching staff, our athletic director, Jeff Rodzinski. Um, and uh, it came to a head today, and we enjoyed it. And we're going to enjoy it.